what about new releases? Uh, oh, there was a Star Wars Dark Forces remaster, I see. I know. It feels expensive for $30. What, what does it look like? I need to see it right now. I didn't even know this it, was a thing. It looks okay. It doesn't look so different that I'm like, oh, yeah, this is a, a whole new thing. It just looks like they kind of, I don't know, tightened up the graphics on level three. But it does. it's not like uh, Resident Evil 4. It's not like the Resident Evil remaster level of remaster. Oh, wait. What the fuck is this shit? It's oh, like, I see. Okay, there's the remaster. Okay. There's like a little, like, like, an, like a coat of paint, but not yeah. necessarily like, oh, this looks amazing. I'm good. I think I enjoyed it as much as I'm going to enjoy it in my yeah, life. Yeah, for a, how old is that game now? Very it's old. It's got to be very old. It's very old. That's how old it is. For that real estate job. I, I'll probably hair. pick this up. Dash will enjoy this one. You put for $30? He's, not for $30. You out of your mind? That's a, that was my point. I'm not saying that it's a bad game. I'm just saying I don't know if it's no, no. I'll get this when it's on sale for like five dollars. It'll happen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I saw I, that they were also putting out a remaster of the Battle Stars Battlefront game. Yeah. Yep. One and two. But, yeah. The originals. Yeah. But they already like we already play those on there. Mm -hmm. Is this like I, also a new shiny coat of paint? Okay. Like you can already play those. There's, games I think, two new characters in it too, like Kit Fisto. Okay. Wait, this, so Ellie, if Ship Ellie already owns was telling it, me about this because he's very excited for it. What's so. gonna happen? Like Ship, if Ship wants to like the better graphics, he has to just buy the new. Yeah, he'd have yeah. to buy the remaster version of it because okay. it's like not it's both games in one in this remaster version. Yeah. Whereas mm -hmm. I have both games as two. But what if so? <laughs> are the two games gonna be playing each other online? I have like, no I idea doubt if it. they're on the same servers or not. Like this, this I saw the remaster was published by like Aspire, mm -hmm. and the other ones were EA, right? Yes, this is Definitely. not an EA game. And the same thing was true of what? Wait, was Dark Forces was that EA at one point, or was that just Lucas Arts at one point? I want to say Lucas Arts, but I could very well be wrong about that. Is that Aspire now too? I don't think so, because the other Star Wars game I get press releases on, and this one I don't. <laughs> Dark mm. Forces I have not. So it makes me think it's different, just because I haven't gotten the emails about it. Yes, it's published by Night Dive. Yeah. Night Dive Studios. So if they were smart, they would have been emailing me about it, but you know. <laughs> but I don't know, those are all good games. It's just... Mm -hmm. We're getting to the point now, like in the now that everything is going fully digital, that all the digital games are still sitting there <laughs> that they're releasing again. Like, like, right. There's like not a big, like you could buy the old wor version of it for like five bucks, or you could buy this new one for $30 and they still work. Right. Both of them. Right. Hey, why not? Doesn't take <laughs> up any extra space <laughs> mm -hmm. on a shelf. Yeah. Uh, what else new releases i see this this game pacific drive came out and i thought about picking it up but it looks like one of these games where like the save system is really punishing like you can you can't you could can be caught like playing this game for an hour or two without being able to save it and then i, I don't know what it is yeah, pacific is it? drive it's like a um survival game where it revolves around a car like you, you uh, rely on the uh, on a station wagon to get you around and it's like your your base, I guess. And I don't know. I'm done. It, <laughs> what do you mean you're done? <laughs> it looked, it looked, it sounded, it's been getting really good reviews and it looked cool, but I, it looked like torturous in a way. And it sounded like yeah, a lot of the reviews said. A lot of survival games are torturous. I'm, I'm very, you know, it's funny because there was a time like when survival games were like, just, when the first glut of them started coming out. And I'm like, oh, this is something that I think I'm going to like. I'm going to like survival games. And then I've played like a, maybe too many and i don't like them <laughs> that's my that's what i've come to generally right. speaking as a genre sure i'm not a fan for this one i I'm think not i'm gonna saying wait it's bad i'm just saying it's not for me this one i think it sounds like something that they can just fix and tweak you know if they get enough complaints and there were a lot of them when i looked it up on steam so maybe they will mm -hmm. should we do wombat's fortnightly news yes there were some exciting developments in Fortnite over the weekend. Lies. No, this is very true. Okay. I played Fortnite with Shipwreck. 
Oh. That oh, is, yeah. I feel, we a did. very important Fortnite development. <laughs> we played uh, Father and Son Squads. That's where emotional. I played, Yeah, I played with my son. Shipwreck played with his. And we won. We did. We won the Fortnites. And I'm going to go as far as to say everyone had a good time. Dash will, Dash will enjoyed it. Yes, yeah, <laughs> he asked when we were going to do it again. <laughs> At least 75% of the people playing had a good 75% time. 75% of the people. Guaranteed. There's a 75% enjoyment rate, which, I mean, I would literally take those odds I, anywhere. I, it's a game that I will play with my son, and I will never play if I am not playing with my son. That's fair. But it's not yeah. like you had a bad time playing with No, all it's of fine. I, I just, uh, like, I... The gameplay loop still is like it does not grab me whatsoever. And then the quests, like there's literally quests like eat mm-hmm. cabbage in the the <laughs> passenger seat of a car or knock down ten sets of stairs. Mm-hmm. That was a quest this week. Yes, that was a no, quest. But, we did it no. during that that mission mm-hmm. that we were playing. Of that one was good. That was a good quest because at least that was a group quest. So you only really, when you're playing in squads, you only had to knock down like three sets of stairs. And yeah, there's some it. other real bangers like fill up seventy five percent of gas in a car before <laughs> twenty five players are remaining on the map. Like that's a real that's a real fun one. Then you can't you can't you have to do that solo. Like you can like if like I was having to like instruct my son to not don't you dare touch that gas. Right. I just drove this car around for no reason to come back to this gas station so I could fill it up. And it's fun. And get oh, wait. Pl- yeah. When you guys yeah. play with your kids, it's not is there a split screen or you're on different systems or I'm on, well, on two different uh, Xboxes. Yeah, we're we're two, two Xboxes, two TVs. Oh wow. We're in different rooms. We have headsets on. We don't have to look at each other. Wow. It's, it's perfect father-son bonding. I do appreciate that <laughs> it's like I don't have to think at all while I'm playing it. Like there's just no, there's no pressure. There's, there's no, no co- there's like no consequence whatsoever. You don't feel that like nervousness when you're playing, like none. It, gets, it doesn't hit me at all. Not even when you get down to like the last two. No, nothing. You know, it hands don't get matter. sweaty. Nothing. It, it nothing like doesn't. I know I'm gonna get a like a victory royale because I know it's all matchmaking or whatever going on in the oh, background. Man. We get a victory royale like I don't know one out of six times or so. Right. Um, oh, hey, and then like literally, Dashiell and I were playing and and we were like, oh, everybody was down here in the room and we're like, oh, here, like Mrs. Shipwreck, Emmeline, why don't you guys play? We're gonna go get like a snack or something and come back and so they play they got third place they never played it at all no. like just the game no must know it yeah. knows it how often it, it needs you to win yeah i don't think that's a bad thing either i think it's you know it, it if anything it, it makes the game i don't know more, more accessible re- yeah more accessible that's the word i was trying less to find. stressful less stressful more accessible and as and less you don't exhilarating, need, you don't need to win every time in order to complete the battle pass, for example, which I think is something a lot of these other games can learn from where the uh, you just need to eat cabbage. Yeah, exactly. Eat cabbage in, in the a right passenger spot. seat and you're going to get <laughs> a new right skin time. in this game. You're going to get a whole new character. You're going to be moving either. You get in and you go, you go, nope, I don't want to be driving. Get me over this passenger chomping. seat. I want to. Want to eat? <laughs> I gotta eat this piece of cabbage so I can get Peter Griffin. Right. Mm-hmm. Uh, we got we got Peter Griffin. Yes. So so Dash completed. I don't know. He got to level one hundred. Yep, that's the basic pass. He finished the 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 basic pass. Yep. What, he has enough V bucks. The stressful to buy the thing next to me in this game is when I when I see people with like level like three seventy five or something like that 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 comes and kills me and I'm like that is. You are playing this game way, way too much because so I'm worried what, about them. To get to 100. I'm worried about those those people. Yes, that are what level is Wombat? Wombat's uh, at 260. Not, <laughs> I'm not even that high. I'm 250. Well, I was way off. 254. <laughs> way off. Is there a, so is there a doctor you can go to when your level gets too high and he's going to tell you, look, you need to drop like a hundred levels because it's not healthy probably like how dr fortnite 
<laughs> there, there's a question here, like in, in the chat, and I'm curious too. Like, how much do you play to get to like level two sixty? This season, I feel like I'm like at level eighty five on on my character, and it's because Bashful played some before I started playing on this this account too. Well, um, this season was weird. This season was an anomaly. I usually don't get that high. I usually will do my best to get to 200. I usually get maybe like 205 or so. So to get cl as the, close to 260 is, is very unusual for me. But this was the season where they added in all those extra modes, like the racing and the music thing and the Lego thing. And in the Lego mode, you don't have to play the Lego mode. You can just sit on a bed and have it on behind you. And you'll get like 10 levels a day. And at the beginning of the These season, games just play themselves now. Yeah. At the beginning of the season, I did that because I didn't know, I didn't know how bad the grind would be. So you kind of want to be like, well, I, I know I can do this now. If I had known then what I know now that I wouldn't have had to do that, I wouldn't have done that. So to be fair, I sort of, you know, played the system, but I didn't need to. I probably still would have hit 200 anyway. And I probably would have enjoyed it a little bit more to be perfectly honest, but. You didn't answer this guy's question. How long does it does it take? Yeah. I did it. It took me about two months to hit 200. Of how, we, but we did but, the math on this a while yeah. ago. It was yeah. like it was, a couple yeah. hours a day. Like yeah, two, two maybe, hours. maybe an hour, not even that much a day, maybe an hour and a half a day. I, I might, you know what? Because if I start playing at like 8 30, there are days if, 8 30 to 9 30 is what i'll use is like a normal weeknight play time for me hmm. yeah I, I don't play late i don't play till like um i turn it off usually before 10 o'clock and i usually don't log on until 8 15 ish and then you know i'm like checking out the shop and what quests i need to do and all that nonsense before i even jump in with anybody. Your, your work order yeah <laughs> exactly. So nice. I don't know, like an hour and fifteen minutes a night, we'll say, of actual playing the game. All right, it's too hour much Fortnite 15? talk. Too much right. Fortnite playing and talk. Oh, no, not too much playing, just too much talking. Right yeah. Now. Much anyway. 